winter time. On the road, the riches gotta get mine. And I'm so close, I got diamonds, 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 diamonds. diamonds, diamonds. And I've been shining, shining, shining. I got these diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. And I've been shining, shining, shining. All this money I still feel the same. I used to start rolling, never heal the pain. It never heal the pain. Never heal the pain. All this money I still feel the same. I never build a shame. Oh, cause I work for it. I said I work for it. You niggas better work for it. It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm Back with another video, y'all know what's going on. Now today I wanna tell you why you have absolutely no reason to be complaining, all right? It's easier now than it has ever been for you to be successful as a producer, a rapper, an engineer, whatever you are. It's easier now than it has ever been. More easier now than it has ever been. And why is that? Because we have this thing called social media. We got Facebook, we got Twitter. Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, the list goes on and on, man. Like, we got so many outlets that we can use to generate potential customers. You know what I mean? So, first of all, you got to think about back in the day, before social media, right? When you was a rapper, a producer, uh, engineer, like a lot of like a lot of the older artists, engineers, producers, they used to camp out in studios, man. They used to just be in the studios, hope hoping that they could uh, get their song to a certain person or get their beat to a certain person or uh, hopefully this person knows somebody and maybe if I hang around them enough, possibly I meet this person and bro, it was a lot. Today, we ain't got to do none of that. You can hop on the internet, do what you do, right? Hop on the internet, do you, do you, and people start coming. People start noticing you, and they start coming. They start coming. Like, <laughs> when I got started, bro, I didn't understand. I didn't know how it was going to work. I didn't know where the people would come from, but I just had faith that eventually y'all would come. And y'all started coming. You feel me? We like 10 subs away from 2K. So shout out to y'all. We, we, we about to get there, man. But yeah, man, it is more easier now than it has ever been. It's crazy. You got the same opportunities as everyone else. You remember like back in the day, bro, when everybody was starting to rap and stuff? And everybody be like, yo, I want to. I need to go to New York and I need to go to, you know, LA and, uh, you know, New York was really the place though. Like, man, I need to move to New York. I'm trying to do this music junk. Like everybody that was trying to be serious about like hip hop, they wanted to move to New York just because that's where everyone was. And that's where all the business was done. So everybody was trying to move to New York so they could push their music around. Just for instance, my favorite artist right now is J Cole, right? J Cole left North Carolina Went to college in New York, but his intent was, I need to get to New York. I need to be in that music scene so I can push my music to the right people. That's how it was. It like that was um, what that was like early two thousands, right? Uh, Cole really popped off in what like 2010? 09? 09? 09 10 but i was listening to cole for a minute so like uh i feel like cole had to be in college like um what 05 06 something like that but just think bro that was this is 2021 that's roughly like what 16 15 16 years ago right everything has changed you do not have to move to a big city to get popping. You really don't. Because the internet 
is like combining every city if that makes sense like you know what i mean like before you had to be in that city to be on that scene now you can use social media and you can target that city without even stepping foot in that city so it's crazy bro like it's so easy man and it's like you can get your name out there bro just by you know putting a few dollars behind yourself you know what i mean like facebook ads instagram ads google ads like it, it's so crazy how how things could work and you don't have to be this super big artist like drake you know what i mean to make a living off of your music bro it's artists that you never heard of who make very good money off of their music and their merch and stuff and they live off of their music and you never even heard of them bro like it's that crazy out here bro like it's really that crazy and it's so many people in the world bro like that's why i always tell people like it's so many people in the world somebody gonna fuck with me somebody gonna like my music somebody gonna like my clothing line somebody gonna like the beats i make somebody gonna uh fuck with the cover art i do like it's just too many people for everybody not to like me you feel me like you know what i mean so Social media has changed the game, and y'all need to understand that, man. Don't, and like I always say, bro, some days are better than others, man. You got days when you're just really down, and you're just like, ah, oh, man, it's not working, but like, don't allow yourself to be in that space for too long, man. Learn how to hit reset. I talked about this before. Learn how to hit reset and get back to work, bro. You got everything you need, man. You got everything you need. And don't get too caught up on your quality, you know what I mean? I know, like, you want your junk to sound as professional as possible and you gonna get there just keep working but don't be afraid to put that music out bro because to be real if people like it they like it you know what i mean people might be like uh it sound you know it, it don't sound too good you know quality could have been better but on the real i'm keeping 100 with you like if you make good music people gonna rock with it bro like i got songs that i made when I got started, that people like, bro. People was like, yo, this song fire. And listening back, like, the quality was trash. But, like, if people like it, they like it. If you make good music, you make good music. The quality can be fixed eventually. You know what I mean? Like, you just never know, bro. You could make a fire song. Somebody here and be like, bro, this song is fire. But you, sh you should let me mix it, bro. You should let me mix it, master it. It'll sound ten times better. And you'd be like, oh, snap. You know what I mean? It's just... You never know until you do it, bro. Like some people, sometimes we just, we take ourselves out of the equation. You know what I mean? Like you got to put yourself in the equation at all times. You're like, okay, if I put this song out, you just never know. Keep that mindset. Like you just never know. I'm going to put it out anyway, bro. I don't know. It might blow up. You know what I mean? Just, you just never know, bro. Like it's like, it's like shooting. It's like playing basketball, bro. Like you don't know the shot going in until you take it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you, you could feel it. You could feel like, yeah, this is a good shot. You know what I mean? But you don't know if it's a good shot until it's a good shot. You know what I mean? So don't be afraid to take them shots, man. Social media has changed the game. Everyone is on a level playing field. Only difference is budget. Somebody might have $1,000 to invest in themselves, and you might have 500 That's the only difference. But we all got the same playing field, bro. It's, it's level playing field. It's re it really is level playing field and the people who work the hardest and grind the most are the most successful it ain't about talent it ain't about skill i'm telling you bro i'm trying to tell y'all bro it's people who i rap better than it's people that i mix better than mass uh master better than who are way more successful than me <laughs> because they work their ass off that's it, because they work their ass off, bro. The grind is impeccable. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to catch up. You might look at me, be like, bro, your music better than his, though. I'd be like, but that nigga work harder than me, or at least he was working harder than me to get there, or he started working before me, and he fervent in me. So it's about the grind, man. You just got to put that work in, man. Like I said, everything is about repetition. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So keep grinding, keep learning, keep growing. Learn to use this social media, bro. Like, I talk to artists and people like, yo, I hate social media. 
yes i get it I, i'm not the biggest fan of it either but you gotta learn how to use it to get to where you're trying to go you ain't gotta be in love with social media to learn how to leverage it so it can work in your favor get what i'm saying like learn how to use these ads and stuff man i'm about to start doing videos on my ad campaigns and um how i set them up and the results i get and stuff i just really been waiting to shoot my music videos and stuff because like i don't really want to run ads on like cover art and stuff i've did that before and yeah it may work a little bit but i mean i feel like people connect more with you like if i run an ad on a video like this of me talking i feel like it would do way better than me promoting a picture like i just don't see the point in promoting a cover art anymore it just no one's gonna connect to that you know it's not really you know you just kind of you throwing a fishing rod in in the ocean hoping to get a fish you know what i mean like which that's what you do when you go fishing but i mean if you get what i'm saying bro it's just like it's like throwing a fishing rod in the ocean with no bait how about that that sounds a little better it's like throwing just a just throwing the, the, the hook in the ocean with no bait hoping the fish just bite it just because you know what i mean like that's what promoting a cover art is to me so i don't think y'all should do that but man social media has changed the game bro artists no longer have to man remember artists used to go to radio stations all the time i'm talking about all the time bro trying to uh get their music either played on the radio or just be up there at the right time when bigger artists are coming to do interviews at the radio stations uh people used to camp out at studios like i said oh uh, man it's just so crazy the game has changed bro like a lot of people that's coming up now they didn't they don't do none of that when the last time you heard artists say yeah man i i used to be at the studio every night just you know, just hoping, you know, I get my chance. When the last time you heard an artist say that? Or I was going to the radio station every day. When the last time you heard an artist say that? No one say that no more. You know why? Because everyone is using social media. And it's like, if I could get popping on this social platform, everything else is just going to come. You know what I mean? That's why I started going so crazy two years ago. It's almost two years since I've been back on YouTube. I started in like May. So it's almost two years. It's a year and 11 months. Next month is like two years since I've been grinding on YouTube. And um, in two years, uh, almost 2K. Can't complain, man. Uh, any growth is better than no growth. See what I'm saying? And uh, I was looking at my numbers yesterday. A year ago, today. Well, not today, yesterday. But anyways, a year ago, I had like, 300 something subscribers a year ago from today i had like 300 something subs and today i got 1990 10 away from 2k so in in 12 months it's like what 1600 yeah roughly like 1600 subs which you might look like but that's not a lot but it's a lot to me bro <laughs> it's a lot to me bro i remember i went a whole year and i got like 50 subscribers in one year so in the past year i got almost 2000 basically so that's crazy it's crazy it's crazy so man just keep grinding keep your hopes up stay strong and learn how to use these ads um talk to people man like the video i posted yesterday the easiest way to get people to support you is to support them talk to people don't and I don't mean talk to people, like, don't be trying to, like, finagle. Like, uh, actually talk to people. Don't be trying to finagle. Don't be trying to fake it, you know what I mean? Like, actually show genuine interest and support. No, that fake, that fake, that faking it, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna get you where you're trying to go, man. You gotta be genuine. And people will be genuine with you, you know what I mean? So, that's just the approach I've been taking in. Y'all yeah, see I see you know what i mean i was talking to somebody yesterday and they were saying bro you got the gift you need to take it more serious and i'm like damn maybe i'm not taking it as serious you know what i mean like i be on a 
YouTube scene a lot, but I need to get back in these music streets. So with that being said, new single, April 30th, Cold Hearted, King Buzz featuring Rue Bands. Make sure you hit that link in the description right now. Go pre-save. Hit that link in the description. Go pre-save. And yeah, man, that's what we doing, man. We gonna keep growing, we'll keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy King Buzz, and I'm out of here. Yeah.